Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vanessa Alexander Marshall. Hello, I'm Lawrence Turner. I'm Kendrick Alexander. Why does you he cut me off one more time? Bro. <laughs> Why does he do this? Why? Why? He's talking so like he in a nice school. Hello. <laughs> welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Be sure you're clicking the bell so when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. I know. I know. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it rolling. So today, this is what we're gonna talk about. <clears throat> this is dealing with YouTube. Oh. And our experiences on YouTube so far. So for those of you, if you are looking to start your own YouTube channel, I have some notes here that I took, and then they're probably gonna be chiming in on their own stuff. Some do's and don'ts for YouTube. So, so far with my YouTube journey, I've now been on YouTube for about a year. Um, when I first started my journey on YouTube, it was mainly talking about my jewelry. And I have kind of drifted off of the jewelry into just makeup reviews, hair reviews, and just outright just comedy with my kids. Okay, look. No, we should, no, we should plan a comedy show. Comedy no. Show. I'm, uh, so here are some do's and don'ts. And so far, my experience is on YouTube so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to answer the elephant that's in the room. A question that I've gotten. A question that Maranta has gotten. I don't reply. Sorry. Okay. But this is a question that no, some of your friends have asked this question when they've seen our videos. Yeah. But a lot of people have asked the number one question. The main question. That myself and Miranda get is, why is Kendrick never on the camera? Why is my son always over there? There's a reason my son is not in a lot of the mov movies. A lot of the videos. <laughs> Movie action. <laughs> There's a reason why my son is not in the camera all of the time. This has a lot to do with YouTube itself. I am a member of a group on Facebook and it's us, um, that, us moms that do YouTube videos and I'm a mother that does YouTube videos. But what was going on, this, was, this had been going on, I wanna say since February, something that YouTube implemented, I didn't know anything about. What YouTube was doing is, for those moms that were doing vlogs and those vlogs featured their young kids or minors, YouTube was disabling the comments on their videos. Some were even demonetized because, because of minors being in the video. And the reason being is it has a lot to do with safety for kids because you have a lot of predators. They do prey on young kids. And as a result of that, a lot of them had stopped doing some of the videos. Some have began doing their videos again, and so far YouTube hasn't said anything, but YouTube was literally disabling comments if it featured minors on their channel. This is why my son is always over here, and that's why we look at him over there. But there have been a few times on my videos that he has, and you've actually seen his face next to me, or the video with all three of us before we had to evacuate from Hurricane Barry, he was sitting next to me. I kind of had to hold my breath just to hope that YouTube was not going to disable the comments. So that's why you don't see Kendrick on the camera a lot of time. This has a lot to do with safety and dealing with crazy predators that prey on young kids. So that's why you don't see him in the camera. This was another question I got and I went, huh? <laughs> I didn't answer this question. I mentioned this on my channel. Why is y'all asking me where do we live? I wish you would. I wish you would. Look, okay, I got it. On this planet. That's where we live. <laughs> we live on the earth. The same place you live. <laughs> so that is a question I get. There you go. Where I do we live? I answered like, it. Okay, yeah. yeah. On this, but where particularly? Oh, uh, what state do we live in? Shreveport. That's huh? where we live. <laughs> huh? Since when is Shreveport a, a, a state? I thought it was a city. I just want to watch 
a two best family feud. We live in Baton Rouge. We live in Baton Rouge. Do you want to come? Okay. So yes, we live in Shreveport, <laughs> Miami. <laughs> It was a question of family feud. <laughs> Name a state. They said Miami. Miami. My, oh, wait, when did Miami become a state? Just like the last one. And when I said, uh, this was not from this country. He's from London. London is a city in England. Oh, that's where Ella May is. Yeah. I thought that was England. Oh, England is a country. Okay. I said that? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't remember Okay, anyway. That. We live in Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. Uh, yeah. Go Saints. So... <laughs> <laughs> I live in New Orleans. <laughs> if you she want, to, if you want to come she find lying. us, here, no, no. Do if you want to come find us and get our autograph, ah, uh, hit you with a bat. Real talk. I'll uh, hit you with a bat. Got a bat in my room. I uh, hit you with the door. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that answers the questions. Now, here's something that I y'all will. are probably saying. Well, we don't see any comments in your in the bottom of your comments about people asking you anything. Here's the thing. I always leave my email address in the bottom of the description box as well as my Instagram. Oh, you'll be amazed how many people has DM me on Instagram when they've seen my video and the number of emails I have received. So we're going to also talk about those do's and don'ts. Um, with YouTube as the oven has now turned on. Hey, we're going to be eating good today. So here are some do's for you guys. So since we've answered those two questions for you and they've already started off funny, keep going with your YouTube journey. Never quit. Okay. There've been a many times I've wanted to quit, but you know what? I have a passion for YouTube. I enjoy doing YouTube. Um, how my kids all of a sudden got involved with my YouTube channel was I, actually, I yeah, it was actually, was like supposed to have been like a one or two time thing and that was it. But because the video got, so both videos got a lot of views, that's why we just kept the concept going, which was oh. the first video that debuted my daughter. This was for prom? No, senior pictures. That's what it was. It was the senior pictures. Yeah, it was the senior pictures. That was that was a year ago. That was over a year ago. <laughs> the senior pictures and the look on her face was priceless. Um, so that's how it started off. And then, of course, the makeup no nos we did for 2018. Oh. That's how both of my kids got involved because it was supposed to be only me and her. And silly here incorporated himself in the video. So, yeah, yeah. So that's how my kids got involved with my videos. But mm-hmm. I keep going with my videos. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, please, please don't stop what you're doing. Just keep going, which goes into my next point, which is consistency. I know a lot of people on YouTube who have talked about how they started their channel and how to get viewers, how to get subscribers and so forth. It's being consistent. Um, With my videos, when I first started, I was only uploading once a week. And my upload time was usually on days like this, a Sunday. Um, Which we're actually gonna dive into the scheduling time and why on the days that we film and upload. Um, I was starting off only uploading once a week. And right now, that was at the time, that was the thing to do for me because that was the only time I had the opportunity to upload was just once a week. Um, but now, as of lately, I have now began uploading twice a week um, because now I have gotten into the habit of pre-filming. Um, I have an access of videos that I need to upload. So that is why you're now starting to see me upload twice a week, but I have never wavered from uploading once a week, even when I started my channel, because that once a week, that's how I slowly started I'm so, I'm getting- sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm boring him. <laughs> this is how I slowly started getting subscribers. And I mean, my subscriber count stayed at like six or seven mm-hmm. subscribers for a long time. I'm currently sitting at 88 subscribers and I'm fine with that, but I also keep up with my numbers on YouTube. I keep up with my analytics, which is something you need to do, but don't do it every single day, every hour on the hour. I may look at my numbers once or twice a week and now I will just leave it alone because otherwise I'm not worried about the numbers. Um, and because of my consistency of now uploading twice a week, I have begun 
to notice that some of the videos are not coming up in under recommended recommended recommendations on YouTube yeah which when your videos come up on recommended videos this is how you start getting subscribers so I have noticed that that started to happen for me now and I also look at the numbers and see the more you upload you start getting into that YouTube algorithm which I know you've heard so much about that algorithm see what happened what is happening now as he's still over there for the seventh time doing this <laughs> that algorithm that of you constantly uploading so the more you are consistent with uploading your videos the more your videos are going to start getting recommended and then the more subscribers you're going to start getting now about filming times and schedules, Sundays are the best time for us to record a video. <laughs> and today is Sunday. And this video may not go up for about another week or so. But the reason being is Sundays like this are perfect for us to record. For the quiet day. Because it's quiet and my husband ain't home. No. Because this time he be at work. He be we also have a habit of filming after church so we're already filled with the spirit and when we come in boom yeah we're about to we got jump. videos to do so um yeah that's how it goes so be consistent and stay on your schedule and your consistency in your filming schedule is going to be so important with your success on youtube i'm telling you consistency is key next thing be yourself. Be original. Um, you don't need to pretend to be something that you're not because it's going to come off ungenuine. It's not going to come off as you being a real person. Let me tell y'all something right now. <laughs> See this right here with these two? As he's watching the football game. See this? We're original. This every day. Literally. I don't need a camera. This is what I get every day. This is every day. Every day. Every single day. See? Ah! The comments that you hear out of these two, this real. <laughs> you don't believe? Ask their sisters. Their older sisters will tell you. Tell me, older sister Taylor, she'll tell you. This is these jokers every day. Her friend, this, this is her every day. Every day, <laughs> again, Man. Kendrick, the camera does not need to be on with him trying to get attention. This is him every day trying to get attention. So he finds any way possible to get attention. There it is. This is it. This is why being original is so important for your YouTube journey. This is real. This is real. Just wait till we start talking. The stuff that, that you hear come out their mouth, this real. This is real. Ask my best friend. She'll keep I, I have gone on Facebook a bit time. Ed, what are these, what, what, what's your decent nephew talking about? Because see here, particularly when that boy said that we live around the corner from the Superdome. Oh, dead in our tracks and we're sitting here going I thought the Superdome was in New Orleans <laughs> but we live here in Baton Rouge the Superdome was on Perkins Road really? I didn't even know New Orleans existed I'll be honest I'll be honest so five years ago how many times have they been in New Orleans? a lot okay he didn't know it existed you got setting powder on your <laughs> legs see what I'm saying this is what I go through without a damn camera this is it this is it so being original being Ooh. yourself it is key to your YouTube success be Okay. Be positive. <laughs> Be happy. <laughs> Always stay positive with your YouTube videos. Man. Don't come here and you're, okay, welcome back to my channel um, today. We have to stay happy and be positive. But with that positivity <laughs> that you do in your YouTube channel, you get these so-called friends, which is what I am currently dealing with, jealous friends. Uh, friends. These are the people when you start your YouTube journey and they claim that they're happy for you and deep down, they're not. They want you to fail. I'm going through that right now. To the point it had gotten so bad for me 
this person I had to block on Instagram. I had to unfriend them on Facebook. Um, yeah, I they watch my videos on YouTube, was going around the office showing people what I was putting out on YouTube and was being very negative about it. So that person, I know who you are. I know you're gonna be watching this video and once again, gonna share it with everybody what all I'm doing. It's like you have this jealousy. So I'm going to tell you, you're gonna come up with people that you think are your friends. They're not. They want you to fail, big time. So that's what I go through. <laughs> what up, stalker? Yeah. Okay. Another thing with that is not everyone is gonna approve of you starting a YouTube channel. And again, I see that now. Um, not everybody's gonna be happy that you're starting a YouTube channel, but guess what? This is where that keep going, that don't quit attitude comes in with your YouTube channel. Don't let those people clog your brain because they will clog your brain with negativity and then you're gonna end up not completing your journey of YouTube. So don't do that and beware of opportunists. You're going to have a lot of people that are going to take advantage. You said opportunists? Mm -hmm. Opportunity? I'm, yeah. I know how that because, how that because you're on YouTube, all of a sudden they think they're gonna get an opportunity to have rewards or re rewards for what you're doing. But you said opportunists. That's just yes, a word, opportunists. <laughs> That's people, the people that want an opportunity, they want to use you. Why are you sure the op you said opportunity? opportunity. Hey, look, hey, look though, look though, look though. This is what I mean by be original. See this here? This is real. This is real. Send them for a bag. <laughs> opportunists. A pe people that are looking This is what I mean by be original. This one. See, this this is an actual real question. <laughs> because if the camera was not rolling and I said that in the room, that's not a word. Just like Kidder couldn't say baker with caker. <laughs> that was seven years ago. Whatever. Oh, okay, he changed it. He changed baker to caker. caker. Where's caker? I'm 13. That was seven years ago. But you thought it was Baker. But you changed the word. You just put Like Baker. I said, this is this is real. This is what going back to that being original. I was Be, stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I was stupid. No, you Okay, wasn't. anyway. You was serious. You said oh, anyway. Caker. <laughs> yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. Okay. Maintain more than one social media account. This is going to play a pivotal role in your success on YouTube as he's smelling his armpits over there. <laughs> you didn't have to tell Again, that. original. This, hmm. That boy smells his armpit. Oh, let me see if my armpits stink. <laughs> you know, he did that in the car one day. What you did that, boy? did that in the car one day. What the hell you doing, boy? <laughs> Going back to being original. My soul. My soul. Anyway. My soul. Okay, the reason why we say maintain why more than one uh, account is because a lot of my videos, when I post my YouTube videos, and when I don't just upload it on YouTube, I will also post it on my Twitter account. I will let everybody know on my Instagram about my videos, and I also upload on my LinkedIn. You'd be surprised how many people on LinkedIn will watch YouTube videos. Oh, dang. <laughs> because that's why I get a lot of my DMs. LinkedIn. What the heck is a LinkedIn? That's more of a professional social oh, for business okay i'll finish that yeah i've heard that before yeah, in my life. that's where you, people can find jobs and so forth it's on LinkedIn. Oh, i told you i have a lot of connect I, it's like oh. i'm telling you I'm, I'm telling you okay and because even though i have 88 subscribers my instagram is over 600 followers and growing i have almost 900 followers oh. on twitter i have almost 1800 people on uh linkedin and believe it or not, those are the three I post to. Reason why I leave out Facebook, that's where all the jealous people are. That's where all the people that are not gonna watch your videos are on Facebook. I just why I don't post my videos on Facebook because it's not gonna get absolutely no views. But all the other social media, I, I get a lot of views. I get a lot of views, particularly on my Twitter. 
and LinkedIn. I get a lot of views. Mm. So maintain one account. Now, another good thing is find a good spot to film in. This is our spot to film in. We're in our living room. Mm-hmm. Right in front of my face is a football game right there that I'm not paying to, to right now. Cause Yes! Ain't no points. <laughs> See what I mean? Original. The game he's watching is the oh, Baltimore no. Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. It was the yes. yes. Incomplete. Incomplete. That's what you get for trading for trading um when it's me from the Saints. That's what you get. <laughs> incomplete. He still ain't forgave them for sending Odell Beckham to the Browns. So did <laughs> Oh, he mad because Odell I cut his hair. Yes, sir. I was so mad. I told you, you this is original. Did. See? Original. 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 I was now so here. mad. You gonna cut your hair? Okay. No. Can I finish? Oh. Yes. Okay. Now here are some. <coughs> Damn. Okay. You. Can I finish? I'm laughing for you. Okay. Now here are some don'ts. This was something I had to explain to my daughter because she really still doesn't understand that concept. Do not, for the love of God, do not fall for the sub for sub. Let me explain what sub for sub is. For those of you that are new to my channel and those of you that are new to YouTube and you're trying to get subscribers. A sub for sub is when someone will come to your channel or leave a comment and they'll say, hey, subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe oh. to my channel, I'll subscribe back to your channel. I fell for that, unfortunately. And I don't do that anymore because it's a scam. And that's why I'm telling you, don't do it. Just let your channel grow on its own without doing the sub for sub. Because here's what happens. You end up getting burned with a sub for sub. And I got burned quite a bit. What they do is they'll go onto your YouTube channel. They'll subscribe. But they won't be a permanent subscriber. They'll just subscribe. Your subscriber count will go up, but you're not going to actually see them actually subscribed. You'll get a notification if they click that little notification bell. This is why all of us on YouTube say, make sure you click the bell. Click the little notification bell. Because once you click the notification bell, you're a permanent subscriber. And we're going to get an email, plus I'll get a pop-up saying such and such, just you have a new subscriber, such and such. You have a new subscriber, such and such. But we're not going to get that if you just subscribe, but you don't click the bell. And a lot of the sub for subs, they'll subscribe, but they won't click the bell. And what ends up happening is once they subscribe, They'll see you as a permanent subscriber. They're going to go back and unsubscribe to your channel because now they've roped you in as a permanent subscriber. They had no intentions on being a permanent subscriber. No intentions. And then it ends up falling into the spam portion of your YouTube channel. And you don't want too much spam in your YouTube because that can send strikes to your YouTube channel that could possibly get your channel disabled. So you don't want to do a sub for sub. Stay away from it. Just let your channel just grow on its own. Be consistent. Um, and just stay the course of your YouTube channel. Leave them sub for subs alone. Why he got it on his lips, I don't know. Another thing that I am seeing, and a lot of us see, this is dealing in the beauty industry and hair. Don't expect free stuff from companies. Now, I know you see a lot of YouTubers, they have so many subscribers, they get put on PR lists. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> he got stickers on his mouth. Told you, trying to get attention. So, you see a lot of people on YouTube, they get PR packages and... <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> you My battery's starting to go down because your ass is being crazy. Okay, anyway. Yeah, you see a lot of YouTubers get free stuff or get put on PR lists. Let me tell you something. You cannot start a YouTube channel by trying to get free stuff. Because if these companies send you PR, they're going to want you to talk about it on your YouTube channel or Instagram. Okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to be you have to have so many subscribers on your YouTube you have so many followers on your Instagram and you're consistent also on your Instagram or your Twitter, 
these companies are going to find you. Now, let me tell y'all something. With my personal experience so far, even though I only have 88 subscribers, my followers are over 600, my Twitter is almost 900, I've already been reached out by a few companies. A lot of hair companies have reached out to me too. And anytime I, a company reaches out to me, I let her know. And the reason why I let my daughter know is because she's also in my cosmetics business, my VAM Cosmetics. She's my manager. Boom! So I let her know. Why and then it, a, a worker. <laughs> She's 19, about to be 20. Why you still be a manager? No, because I, at my flea market booth, he had this thing about yeah, going to play I'll football. Just... He can't stay by the booth. But Can she's the, the one. Yeah, but she's the one that manages my booth while you're playing football or on your game or whatever it is. You're sweaty. Okay. Right. <laughs> you can never stick around. So when it comes to YouTube <laughs> video ideas. I'm on break. That's all the time. Every day. That's all the time. Every hour. Yes. So when it comes to companies reaching out to me or YouTube video ideas, Ow! this is what he has on his lips. <laughs> I go to her and I let her know. I had another hair company reach out to me. Again, I had so far, I've had about four hair companies reach out to me. I've had more companies, they've seen my videos, they sent me coupons and everything, want me to talk about more of their hair. Um, my hair videos are the one that get the most views so far, particularly that video I did almost a year ago. And that thing is still climbing. Well, dang. That video is still climbing. That is so far my most viewed video, which was a hair review I did for Sleek well, Hair. Just, that uh, one is still uh, getting a lot of views. How much was that funny again? Huh? I said, just the FYI, I'm still the funny one. Okay, yeah. I'm fun, I know I'm funnier. But don't expect free stuff just to get free stuff, and then you're not supposed to talk about it on your YouTube or your Instagram or whatever. Because these companies are going to want something in return, and they want to return. And that main thing is a return on their investment. So please, give me, give me, give me, give me. That is not going to get your channel growing, and that can get you in trouble with the companies, and they can sue you. So don't do it. Um, don't expect a payday quickly from YouTube. It ain't gonna happen right off the bat. You have to spend money to make money. I've said that many times when I was doing my MLM business. You gotta spend money to make money. The rules are you got to have at least 4,000 view hours and at least 1,000 subscribers before they decide to monetize your videos. You have to follow that criteria on YouTube, which is going back to the sub for sub. Because a lot of these sub for subs, that's what they're really trying to get to. The 4,000 view hours and you need 1,000 subscribers. But if they're not genuine, they're not going to monetize you, which is why sub for sub is not a good idea. That could give strikes on you your channel and could get you in trouble with YouTube. So don't do it. And you're not going to get us up. You're not going to get money right off the bat. You got to work for it. And because that's what the consistency comes back into. Got to be consistent. Another thing that I hear so many YouTubers talk about. And we're going to quash this myth. Just because you're doing YouTube or you want to start a YouTube channel, that does not necessarily mean you need a MacBook. You need what? A MacBook. Uh, we Mac. one, 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 I know we have a MacBook, but I, don't, I barely use it. This is a refurbished it. one, and it's outdated. What does that mean, outdated? What does that mean? Ronnie bought an old MacBook. Back in 2002. <laughs> okay. Just stop. You can edit. I edit all of my videos on my Hewlett Packard. Healer. Yeah, Windows. So I do use my Windows to edit my videos. I do have an Adobe software program on my computer. This is where I upload um, my videos to. I view my videos on my Hewlett Packard. Um, I have an Adobe program where it brings, it uploads my videos. And once I viewed them and reviewed and did my edits, I do everything through this Adobe program. Now, if you want more information about the Adobe program, I will put the information in the bottom of the description box. It's an Adobe program. And I want to say it's called Rushing, Premiere Rush is what it is. It's through Adobe. 
This is where if certain clips you want to take out of the video, you can oh, take the clip oh, out. Yeah. My introduction that y'all always see on my videos, I upload my introduction on my program, you know, and this is how I start off with my introduction, how I piece my videos together. It is through this Adobe program on my Hewlett Packard. How crazy stuff be up there? What is that? What's that? How, how you did that? It's on, it's on Adobe program, so you don't need a MacBook. You can do it right there on Windows. Um, you don't. Another thing is, this is going back to opportunists and people on your YouTube channel. You need to beware of people, just in general. Because you'll be surprised the number of crazy people that will reach out to you when they've seen you on YouTube. This has actually happened to my daughter. Hmm? When my daughter had a crazy person in her Instagram, after a couple of videos, a few videos I've uploaded, she's been getting crazy people. And she got some crazy person. What was this? Was this last month? Mm -hmm. She had to block them on their Instagram, mm -hmm. on her Instagram, because the guy had seen her I on just, my... I posted a birthday picture on my mama. I just posted yeah, it was five about minutes and bam, already. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, so be very weary. And this is a person that came from watching the YouTube channel and saw her on my YouTube. And I think it was, what, a couple of times I put your Instagram in the bottom of the yeah, description but... box, and that dude reached out to her. Quick. With a quickness reached out to her. So please mm -hmm. beware. Not all the people that reach out to you when you put your information in the bottom of the description box, these are opportunities. All they want is just an opportunity to get close to you and either scam you or do harm to you. You gotta be very, very careful. Um, also with dealing with companies, be weary. Um, I have a company right now, I'm not gonna say a whole bunch about it. Um, it's some things with this one company that I'm not really fond about what they're doing. Um, I had to do my research to see if it was even a real company because all these people that are reach out to you You need to really filter who's real and who's not real Who fake? Mainly and you'll be surprised the number of fake people I get in my email and every time I link my email in the bottom of the description box You'll be surprised how many people oh, need you to... Well, that's also for business opportunities, too So if you have actual companies that will reach out for business opportunities, that's they need to reach out to you some way somehow but and it's the email. They got people. They got people hacking other people's Instagram. Well, true. That's true too. That's true too. They had people that had to delete their Instagram to start a new account. But again, but this didn't mean YouTube. You'll be again. You'll be. You will be overly surprised the number of people I get in my email that have gotten through my DMs on Instagram. They didn't got to her. Which is why it's a very good idea for me personally to keep my son over there. Because if I get a predator that's trying to get to my son, it's called a whole other story. So that hopefully oh, will... Man. Yeah. So... Yeah. Me, me. If you mess with me, you want to me, mess with my family. Me, me on the block. Talk. Yeah. So that is it with some, hopefully, I some really ideas really of okay. our YouTube journey so okay. far, what's going on on my channel. And again, even though I have 88 subscribers... Companies have been reaching out to me. I'm bowling. What? What happened? What? What happened? She sits here on YouTube and says she bowling. Let's go back to that originality. This original. Remember, you come. She always walk around. I'm fat. So I'm fat. I can't be hot. I'm fat. Okay. I remember the time you was you was playing basketball with me down there. You was you was you sweated in three. You started sweating in three seconds. Cause her favorite word. I'm fat. You started sweating in three seconds. I'm like, bro, you sweat I'm need this that bad. Cool. I'm fat. I'm a turner. What? What? We, we, we sweat every day. You we turn us. Turn us sweat one, like that. Okay. It's like one, two, two three. You and start sweating. I'm like, yes. Bro. It, was, it wasn't even hot outside. It was in my family. It wasn't even hot. This is the originality I'm talking about. <laughs> because hey, trust look. and believe when this camera go off, they're going to still have this conversation. Because <laughs> the cloud was blocking the sun. He's still talking. <laughs> so that's it. So oh, hopefully... Man.
we were able to give you some ideas on how to start your YouTube channel, some experiences that we're dealing with right now since being on YouTube. Yeah. Damn. So, with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I'm Marisha Turner. I'm Kendrick Alexander. And I hope you have a great day. It's Take like care. But <laughs> That's not funny. You on my side. You know what And she right? laughing. I hear her. <laughs> I hear her. Yeah, she said, yeah. I hope y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.